the cost of acquiring fixed assets. Now, most items on our balance sheet are listed at fair value. However, just like inventory, PP&E is valued at historical cost on the balance sheet. Now, you have it at cost, but then you display it net of accumulated depreciation to give you your carrying value. That's kind of how you uh, reflect the fair value, right? So uh, even though it is at historical cost, you still are giving an accurate value according to the depreciation schedule. The historical cost, which generally is going to be your depreciable base, what you depreciate the asset by, uh, this is the asset's cash price and the cost of readying the asset ready for its intended use. These are going to be if you needed to transport it, if you needed to pay taxes on it, if you needed to pay legal fees to acquire it. All of these costs are added together, and then these costs are then depreciated, right? You have a, let's say, $100,000 depreciable base historical cost, you depreciate that over, let's say, 10 years, depending on the asset. Now, keep in mind, we're talking about depreciation. We've also got depletion and amortization. And I'm going to make the point here. Depreciation is the process for fixed assets. Depletion is for natural resources, such as oil, gold. You've got a gold mine, right? It's the same process, right? You're writing it down as you use it. And amortization is for intangibles. Now, intangible assets, depreciation, we're going to see double declining balance. We're going to see straight line. Amortization is generally just straight line. And then depletion is going to either be straight line or as you use it up, right? So if you know you have 20,000 barrels of oil in an oil mine uh, in, uh, in your oil reserves, as you use 1,000, right? You're going to write off, you're going to depreciate just that percentage, um, you know, not just going to be fixed in that sense. It's not going to just be straight line. It could be, you could just do straight line. 